What's up guys? It's Leo. Again, Coach White Belt and here to give you guys an update on the gloves. The Venom Challenger MMA gloves. And I'm sure you can already see that there's some new stitching. So, Thursday nights we spar. Um, we do MMA specific grappling and stuff. We throw a few strikes and we work into our takedowns and things like that. And then, But when we spar, we don't do any strikes while standing. So, we work our takedowns without strikes, we get it down to the ground, and then from there we strike to open up positions or to force defensive uh, uh, work. And so through that, um, several sessions of that, uh, I had, hadn't had any st uh, stitching tears. And then um, on a particular day, and I don't know if this is when it happened, but on a particular day I, was, I stuck around afterward to do some full-on MMA sparring with one of my partners. And... We were doing everything from, um, you know, uh, standing to takedowns to clinch work to the ground. And I sparred with him maybe an extra uh, 20 minutes or so after after already going through class. And it was a little bit heavier in uh, for short bursts um, than the regular class where we make very light contact. We pull back the same way that we would a real punch while we have someone in position and then as we come down we just make very light contact so as to simulate instead of doing this right just tapping people as if I don't know as if that's what we would do in a fight so we actually pull it back and then we just make light contact and so during uh, several sessions of that none of this had happened and on a day where I did more than that and again I'm not sure when it happened because I didn't notice it until after class, uh, actually on, on my way home. Um, but on the day that I was doing full on MMA sparring with a little more, little more force behind it, the stitching tore, I imagine about here and then worked its way up, um, you know, loosening. And this is the left handed glove. So when I put it on, it's in the exact spot where I was talking about the glove being, um, particularly tight or tighter than than the rest of it so right here this is where I, what I was talking about the index felt tight and as you can see when I flex it even just like this this stretches out so there are two separate pieces of padding this is quite a bit softer and it's separated by the stitching from the padding that is in the area for the knuckles and the fingers, which is quite a bit stiffer. It's more tightly packed. And you can even see the stitching right here stretch a little bit. All of it becomes quite a bit, uh, it becomes noticeably tense around this area. And so eventually this broke. So it wasn't anything difficult to repair. You know, I just got a needle and some thread and I, I was able to go back through it and go through the same holes so as not to create new ones but yeah I, I, I did not expect this to happen as early as it did and another thing that I, I haven't mentioned is I've actually gone up in weight just really recently um, I've been steady at 160 pounds for about a week now which is is actually pretty heavy for me I know some of you guys it, it's it's easy to get up there and wait right but for me, I've always had the issue that it's very hard to keep weight on. And so I would struggle um, anywhere between 130 and 145 pounds regularly. And um, getting up to 160 was pretty difficult for me. But I've been able to maintain it for like the last week or so. And this is me. This broke. This stitching here broke when I was doing medium light sparring. Um, with a training partner of mine who, I don't know, he, he's not a whole lot larger than maybe, maybe an extra 10-15 uh, pounds, but uh, significantly more athletic than I am. But, yeah, you know, we're not two heavyweights going at it. We're just, you know, a couple of smaller or, or medium-sized guys just having some light sparring. And I can't imagine that... 
you know, if, if my gloves are having this trouble and I'm 160 pounds doing medium sparring, that I can't imagine how badly they would have torn if I were 220 pounds trying to get in some heavier sparring, especially heavier than, than I was going, which was not a whole lot. It wasn't, um, it wasn't no contact. It wasn't light contact. It was, it was, you know, a little bit of force behind it, but, but with enough, uh, restraint so as not to injure each other. And that was enough to tear the stitching. The other thing being, so I'll zoom in on it so you guys can really see it. There it is. There it is. The other bit of it that I wanted to mention was this. The vinyl wrapping around the fingers has become very loose in these areas. I don't know how well you can see it, but some of it has even broken. But only, only, really only the this vinyl covering, this synthetic leather texture stuff, it has broken. The, the material under that, the actual structural material under that is still totally fine. So it's not a huge deal. And the right hand glove has had a similar issue right here at the bottom of the wrist strap. If you can see it, it's not a whole lot, but it's, it's there. And then the fingers on this one are, are a little bit better off. Um, it's starting to loosen up just a little bit in some spots, but, but the left hand glove is the one that I really, really noticed it on. Otherwise, the gloves been great. They feel supportive. They feel, you know, well padded and they feel more or less comfortable. So all in all, I, I'm pretty happy with them. You know, like I said, I, I bought mine for like $34 on Amazon when they were on sale, but I don't know if that's going to be their permanent price uh, from then on, or, you know, if like, if it was a temporary sale that was going to become permanent price or, or if really that was temporary and it's gone back up to 40 some odd dollars or not. But even if I had paid 40 some odd 50 bucks for these, I wouldn't be upset by this as long as this stitching that I put in holds up because I stitched it myself and I'm not like an expert at doing this, but at the same time, I know that I did it correctly. I know I didn't leave any loose ends. I know I knotted it enough on the ends and I can see the knots on either side of it. I can see the knots on the inside. So I know it's double stitched and I know it should hold up, but we'll see, you know, if these tear through, if the vinyl itself, the structural, uh, uh, Part of the glove the wrapping of the glove starts to give way at the spaces between the holes and that's going to be a totally different issue um and if the fingers start to get um start to break as well beyond the actual vinyl itself be beyond the the texture then that will also be an issue but so far uh i'm still happy with them uh, this took me you know a couple of minutes with a, a needle and thread so i'm not upset by it but Hopefully, it doesn't get much worse than that. And if so, and even if not, I'll keep you guys updated anyway. And I'll be making that video on the Venom Contact Shin Guards here soon. So, stay tuned for that. Anyway, I've rambled enough. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.